how to make your farm using WordPress and totally for free. In this step-by-step -step tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how we can do this. So uh, WordPress is an amazing place to build almost anything, but unfortunately, it's a little bit um, expensive to do this. So if you want to do this totally for free, there's one way that we can do this. And with that being said, I'm going to be using Pantheon. Now, Pantheon is a great place to uh, deploy websites really fast. And it's going to be telling you, uh, showing you the CMS of different websites, which in our case is going to be WordPress. And we're going to be doing this totally for free. So with that being said, guys, what I want to do is to get started totally for free. So what I want to do is to go into get started. And of course, inside Pantheon.io, what I want to do is to sign up with using all my information, enable the Pantheon terms of use. And after that, I'm going to go into sign up. Once you have successfully done that, I'm going to be showing you something like this. Now, as you can see, I already have a site here. So if you don't have anything yet, because we since we are just getting started, I'm going to go into home and look out for create new site. So once I'm hitting here, I want to look out for my CMS site, which is the WordPress in my case. And after that, I want to create a username inside Pantheon so you can start accessing here your own site. So here you see the Pantheon site, create the one that you wanted here. Here is my Pantheon development site URL. Hit into the region that best fits for you. And after that, hit into continue. It's going to be taking a while, uh, let's say less than five minutes, but it's going to be really, really worthy. So once you have created that, I'm going to go back here. I'm going to go and look out for my sites. So here into my sites, as you can see here, is, this is going to be created. Here's my upstream, my plan, and my status. So what I want to do is to look out for site name. And here, what I want to do now inside the dashboard of my website is to look out for the visit development site, which is down in here of development, visit development site. So what you want to do is now to create an account into WordPress. And once you are here into WordPress, what you want to do is to get started with the actual sections here. I'm going to go into my dashboard and it's going to be looking something like this. So as you can see, I'm now inside the actual section of WordPress. So what I want to do is to now get started with the plugins. So here into the plugins, I'm going to go here and scroll all the way down into the left part. Look out for plugins and look out for add new. And here, what I want to do is to look out for a plugin that could be helping me to create a actual blog, a forum um, that I can do that without coding. It would be really, really easy. So what I want to do here into search plugins of my keyword, I'm going to go for themes. I'm going to be popping up a lot of elements. In my case, I'm going to be using Elementor. Now, Elementor is totally for free since we already have activity pantheon.io. So what you want to do is to go into the install now and activate that. Once you have activated, that, it's going to be showing you here into the left part. As you can see, it's down in here where it says Elementor. So here into Elementor, what I want to do is to look out for the actual getting started. There we go. So once we are here, where it says welcome to the Elementor, I'm going to go and scroll all the bit down and look out for create your first page. I'm going to go for create your first page. And it's going to be sending me now into the editor, but now not from WordPress, but inside the Elementor plugin. So as you can see, we're now inside here. So what I want to do is to get started with the new tools here. So for example, I can go into plus and I can add uh, basics, pro plans and much more. So here I have the global. I have more elements here. I have the three dots and I have like more, more, more stuff to come later. Now, if I open the library here, I want to go into pages and here into pages. I'm going to be looking into a lot of stuff that I can show. So this is the part we want to actually know what exactly is a forum if you want to like start to creating your own forum. So Google says that a forum is a place, a meeting or a medium where ideas and views on a particular issue can be exchanged. Even WordPress has their own forum section. So if I take a look into how does this actual forum works, as you can see, we do have like really, really easy documentation. For example, welcome to the support documentation to get involved installing WordPress, fixing WordPress development with WordPress. So as you can see, this one has a lot of categories. So these are different topics. And with that different topics, I can add like a community and I can add like a chat server if I wanted to, depending on what is your need. So uh, what am I telling you this? Because what you want to do is to look out for a forum that you want to try to emulate, not really say exactly to duplicate or improve and try to use that as an inspiration for your own forum. So with that being said, I think I'm going to be using this inspiration of the actual WordPress. I'm going to go back into my Elementor. I'm going to just close this for a second and we go back here into my Elementor. So what I want to do now is to look out for the one that can be more accessible for me. 
So let's say for example, you can go here into searched. Sometimes you can find your actual um, desired forum, desired template by just choosing the right keyword. In my case, it doesn't appear like that. I can choose block for example, but all of these elements, as you can see, it only appears as blocks at pro. So I'm going to delete this and I want to look for something that can be a little bit more accurate that I can use later. For example, I'm going to go for this. So there, as you can see, here's the navigation. Here's my actual section. So here, what I want to do is to edit the text. For example, here, I'm going to delete this element. I'm going to type the community like this. There we go. And I can edit the pages. I can edit all the elements if I want to. I can even delete it if I don't want to see those like that. Or I can go into the edit the image. And instead of just choosing an image, what I want to do is to look out for a new one. So if you don't have any image, do you have to worry about that? Let's say that I want to make a forum about some, let's say just iPhones. So I'm going to go into Google, I'm going to go into the images, and I'm going to look out for a custom image that I can use. For example, this one from the actual. So what I want to do now is to start by creating my forum by just sharing all the information that I want people to check it out. So for example, uh, as I was talking before, I want to delete this part. Now let's say that I want to look out for getting started. And here, what I want to do is to about us, for example, section deployment and labor. Let's say, for example, I want to share content. I want to least share content. I want to delete this as well. And here, what I want to do is to change, for example, the rules, because if we are making some forums, you want to check it out, the rules and the conversations and chats and all that. So depending on the inspiration that you choose, you're going to be added all the elements, different elements of your actual forum. For example, in my case, I want to add like a chat section. So if your actual template does not allow this one or you don't see any of this actual uh, template, I'm going to go here into these three dots into the box. And here into the box, I want to try to look for a chat widget. So we go for C H A T. So as you can see, there's actually no available at the moment. Even if you don't see this into elements or I can go back and look out for a plugin that can be enabled that because as you remember, we used Pantheon to enable all the actual plugins so I can use this truly for free. So I'm going to close this one. I'm going to reload my page. I'm going to go back into my plugins into the left part. Remember, here's my plugins. Go into add new. And let's see if there's a chat section that we can add into our website. So I'm going to type my keyword of chat, add new, chat once again. And there we go. We have the click to chat app, the click to chat, HubSpot, email marketing, voice chat, and much more. So in my case, I'm going to add the click to chat application. I'm going to hit into install now. And there we go. I'm going to hit into installed and activate that. So after that, with that being said, guys, this is how we can add, for example, we can even add messenger if you wanted to. Uh, here into the left part is going to be appearing to all your different templates you have just downloaded. For example, the social chat, which is actually this one. So with that being said, guys, I have just showed you like um, a lot of tools that we can use to create your actual forum totally for free. You don't have to be worrying about anything at all. So uh, thank you for watching the video, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if this was very useful for you. So with that being said, guys, I'm going to be seeing you into the next video. Hopefully uh, you can use this one for more than just one forum. And you can check it out here into how the Pantheon.io works for your WordPress. So thank you so much for watching the video once again, guys. And I'll see you next one.